Hello makers, how are you? Again, I'm Greg Coleman coming to you um, with another Halloween tutorial. These Halloween tutorials are going to be exclusive to YouTube, so I hope you're really enjoying them. Um, I'm coming up with looks basically that I love, but also that have been inspired by different makers from around the country. A maker is someone who follows the made face, and that's the company that I own. So. Today's look is inspired and comes to us from a maker in Chicago, Illinois. Love Chicago. I used to live there. Um, my good friend Carly. Carly asked me to do a witchy type look. So I'm going to come to you with a witchy type look. I kind of went around in my brain about doing maybe some kind of prosthetic-y type thing. But then I thought, you know what? No. Makeup is very powerful. So I would like to use just makeup to create this uh, multi-dimensional face and really contour the crap out of my face and make me look a little evil and witchy. It also could be called a goblin look. So if you want to be a goblin, you could definitely follow this type of um, makeup uh, technique and you could be a goblin as well. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already primed my skin. Very important, always use a primer, moisturize really well. I've done all of that already. And now I'm gonna do is take off my glasses and get started, okay? So first thing I'm gonna use is this uh, green. It's a cream color um, called Gre Gecko Green um, by Ben Nye, right there. I'm gonna be taking this all over and I'm just gonna be using a foundation brush. Um, you can use a sponge as well. I'm going to use a foundation brush, just load it up real good with this green color, and then just go directly to your skin. We want to make sure we get it green all over. And so that's going to be step one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video and start again, just so I can get covered with um, all of the green all over the place. Okay, so I'll be back here in just a moment when I get my face covered green. All right, so as you can see, I've covered every almost everything with green. Um, I did leave some skin tone around my mouth. You may be asking, why did I do that? That's because I'm going to be over-exaggerating and drawing on a mouth. And so I wanted to leave that blank because I'm going to be drawing teeth and all kinds of things there. Um, but everything else is green. Normally at this point, I would tell you to set the makeup in, but I don't want to do that because where I'm going to be drawing in lines, I want to do some blending with the color. So I want that black that I'm going to be putting on next um, to really kind of blend in with um, the other colors. So here comes the fun part. So now we're going to go in with a pencil. I'm going to go in with kind of a thicker um, pencil here, or not a pencil, sorry, a, a brush. I'm going to be going with this brush here, which is just basically a basic artist brush. And I'm going to be using some black foundation. You can also see around my hairline, I left that pretty nude as well. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am going to be wearing a wig. And I'm going to be drawing black around the perimeter of my hair to kind of accentuate that wig. Okay? So I'm going to go in with some black foundation by Ben Nye. Just like so. See that? And all I'm going to do is create some shapes. So I'm going to be taking this brush, loading it up nice and full of black foundation. And I'm going to be going in basically to different areas of my face and creating some different shapes. So what I'm going to do first is right here where I left blank, I'm going to be going in and creating a mouth shape. And you can bleed over into that um, green if you want. Totally fine. Any area that is left with skin color, just take some green later and you can um, put green on in that area. Creating a mouth shape. This is going to be a very kind of ominous, you know, open cackling kind of mouth. So I'm drawing basically that mouth shape. It does not have to be perfect, but you want this nice open you know, cackling type mouth, okay? Then I'm going to go in and I want to reshape my cheeks. So I'm going to take from right here, this area here, I'm going to be drawing a line up to the hairline, like so, on both sides, okay? So right to here, kind of if you smile and you see 
I'm going to be taking and drawing down them right up to the hairline, like so. I'm doing that because I'm creating a new shape to my face and it's going to be very important in a minute. So you'll see all these lines will start coming together um, in just a moment. You can also see I went down on my neck here. I'm going to be doing some shading and shadowing um, here along my neck. But I wanted to start by doing kind of a line right along the edge of where the shadow will start so that I know that this is going to be part of my chin and then all below is going to be shaded. Just deepening that up just a little bit because I'm going to be pulling some of that color down in a moment using another brush. So it doesn't matter if it's perfect again you're going to be shaving all this in. Okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm really going to really define some lines here. So I'm going to retake and get some lines kind of some frown lines happening here, that area. And again, a lot of this will be blended out. And then I'm also going to do some really defined lines here, down to the hairline, real thick and full. Like so. And I'm also going to be doing some lines right here. These are just where all my thicker lines are going to be. Okay, so you're getting the kind of the picture of where we're going, I hope. Maybe not. And then I'm also, the nose is going to be the most fun part, I think. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some lines right across here. Different kind of sizes here. And then that's going to create kind of that old, witchy kind of a look. And then I'm really going to redefine the nose shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to create a curve right at the end of my nose, like that. See that? And then I'm going to use that curve to really help me reshape my nose. I'm going to go out basically directly from that curve, straight out. I want to make my nose look broader. And flat almost, like kind of a long flat nose. Like so. Okay. See what I'm doing here? Then, because I want to create nostrils on this nose, I'm going to angle this downward like this on each side. So kind of a little curve down where the nostrils are going to be. And then we're going to basically curve kind of a real sharp jagged curve right back up. this. So this is going to be kind of my new nostrils, as you can see. And I'm going to deepen all this up quite a bit more um, in a moment. All right. All right. So that's the basics of that. So now what we're going to do <laughs> is I'm going to do work on the eyes. So my eyes, I want to be real dark, just dark, 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 dark. So I'm going to really fill in and, you know, all around my eyes using this black. Um, because it's going to be real important to make everything kind of almost blacked out. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn off the video and come back and kind of show you the next step. Okay? I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right, so you can see that I've darkened out my eyes. All I basically did is I put dark all around my eyes. Um, I used the end, the top of my eyebrow as my guide and kind of just drew a line there and just curved back around naturally and then under my eye. And I really made sure I took a black eyeliner as well and it went on the waterline, which is that membrane, just to really black everything out. The other thing you would want to do, um, which I haven't done yet, but I'm going to, is use black mascara and just make sure your eyelashes are all blacked out um, and all that. Especially if you have lighter lashes. If you have dark lashes, you probably don't have to worry about that so much. 
Um, but with light lashes, like I have really light blonde lashes, you want to make sure that you put on a little bit of mascara as well. All right, so we've done that. So um, the only thing I have left to do, I also went around my um, hairline and I darkened that up all the way down to where my sideburns are basically. And then I also did on my neck, I just did a little contouring on the sides. And the middle I left green and I put a few little blended lines in here, kind of like, you know, aged, old, you know, skinny bitch. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same black brush. I really want to kind of give myself some bushy eyebrows. I'm going to draw on some black eyebrows a little bit higher. So all I'm going to do is kind of with little hair-like strokes, I'm just going to like do little kind of like eyebrow-y strokes and then just keep going all the way to where like an eyebrow would be. You don't have to make these perfect. Just, you want to kind of get the illusion of a real bushy, unkept, you know, eyebrow situation happening. So just little strokes and then just kind of fade off, as you can see, into an eyebrow, okay? Same thing over here, just little bushy strokes. You can use a smaller brush for this too. It'd probably be a little easier, but I'm, for interest of time, I'm just using the same brush. Again, just bushing it out on this side. And then just, you know, this is not going to be a brow that I've taught you to make in the past. This is going to be a, you know, a witch. So she doesn't care about her brows. She cares more about creating havoc and creating, you know, turning people into frogs and stuff. <laughs> That's her life ambition. You know, she doesn't care about the rest. So just make it real bushy and hairy and gross and whatever. Don't make it perfect, for sure. All right, so there's some brows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start working on the mouth. Okay, so the mouth is probably gonna be your more difficult of pieces. So what I've already done for the mouth is I have, um, you can see on the bottom where the line is, I actually created a little bit of green right above that. The reason for that is because that's gonna be my bottom lip. I want my upper lip to be kind of um, you know, thin and diminutive. I don't want it to have much you know, oomph to it. So I've got to first create gums um, above that lip and, and right before the teeth. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use this brush. It's a small, tiny pencil point brush. I'm going to use some different shades of red. So what I want to create is depth. Um, so I'm going to first go into this color wheel, which is severe. Um, my what is it called? Severe, I've used it before, severe exposure. I can't see because I'm blind, remember. And I'm going to use this dark brown first. And just right along the edge of where I want the gums to be, I'm going to start by putting that. So all along the edge of this mouth, I'm going to use this brown color. Just a line, a little tiny line right along the edge of where that is. Okay, so I'm going to do that all along the edge of this. I'm going to put this dark brown, um, except for you don't want to do it on the outside corners, just the top edge and the bottom edge. Okay, I'm going to do that. And don't forget to put it above the green down here because that's where your lip is. The green is your lip. So above the green and just on the top and the bottom. I'm going to do that and come back in just a moment. All right. <laughs> all right, so I did the top. Now I'm going to do the bottom. So. I'm just basically, again, creating gums um, for my lip. And my gums are going to be really receded and gross. And if you, if you go a little too far out, don't worry, because you can cover that up a little bit later. So all I'm going to do now is really make the bottom one. You can see I just went across the whole top and then just across above that lip I've created here. Um, and then I'm just going to take, I'm really going to make this one kind of more pronounced. I did kind of a zigzag kind of pattern up here because there's going to be teeth in there as well. So depending on how you want to create your teeth, um, you want to make sure that you are, um, you know, making it really big. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in here and I really want to make this real receded, or a real like prominent. So I'm just coming up and do little zigzaggy type patterns. And I'm making this bottom gum really stick out more. And leave space to where the teeth are going to go in. These are just going to be some bloody gums. Like she's got some major 
what do you call it, periodontitis, <laughs> or he, you could do a warlock too, it doesn't have to be a female character, but since most of my viewers are females, I'm trying to cater to what you might do. You could also make this come up a little bit further. This is these are again gums. Bloody, yucky, disgusting, gross gums. Okay? So now we're gonna come in and keep that brush aside, because you're gonna use that again in a little bit. We're gonna come in with a white color. So what I'm gonna be using is a clown white. Oh, let me get it. Just one second. I forgot to have it out. I wasn't prepared apparently. Oh my god. Let me use a clown white. I have a big, 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 big tub of this. Looks like this. It's crazy big and it's huge. It's Clown White Cream by Ben Nye. I'm going to use a really, you know, nice, sharp, but bigger brush because I want to create these teeth um, in there. And I'm going to get a couple of them started and then I'm going to, you know, stop the video again. So I'm just going to load up my brush. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this brush. It's actually a lip brush or a mini concealer brush. I'm going to use this thing. It'll be easier to create the teeth with this. So this is a small little brush. I load it up with the white. And all I'm going to do, I want to create kind of bigger fangy type things over here. So I'm just going to outline those big fangy looks here. And if some of the black gets mixed in there, that's fine. Her teeth are going to be kind of nasty anyway, so no biggie. Give her some fangs. Why not? She's, she's an evil witch. She can make whatever, you know, she could create all kinds of stuff. Make sure you do symmetrical work. So come over here and do a fang over here as well. I find that's the easiest thing to do, that you just start and dab to get better coverage. So start at one side and then just go to the other side and go back and forth. It seems easiest that way. So you can see where we're going with this. We got some fangs. Now I'm just going to do some regular kind of teeth looking things across the top and then a few kind of more jagged teeth on the bottom. And then I'll come back in a minute and you can see what that looks like. All right. All right. So what, as you can see, I am finished with the teeth. What I'm doing now is outlining every all the teeth in black and going even in between the teeth so you can really see I'm defining each tooth as best I can. And then I'm taking that black and just filling in anything that's still flesh toned you want to fill in with the black. So I'm going to do that real quick here and we'll move on. If you get a little black on the tooth itself, don't worry. It's like that's a rotten spot. That's totally cool. No big deal. Notice I have not set anything yet. And the reason is I still do want some of that blend over. I don't care if I get a little bit of blend over. Because I want it to look like a nasty, gross, witchy witch. Alright. I know it's probably annoying that my dogs continue to constantly play in the background. Um, some of you who are not dog lovers probably hate it, <laughs> and then others of you are probably like, oh yeah, that's uh, kind of cute. So for those of you who hate it, I apologize. For those of you who love it, thanks. I love you too. All right. Just finishing up. All right, here we go. Good. All right. All right, there we go. So see where we're going now? I mean, I hope you're really seeing the vision coming to life. Whoa! All right. So she's a, she's got this big ass crazy mouth, and she's just. Ready to eat some people or something. I don't know. I don't know what witches do. What do they do? They eat people? All right. So now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start doing some shadowing because we've got all these great lines we've created. Oh, one more thing I forgot to talk about. So I want to go ahead and end with my black brush. Now, you know, we made this great shape with our, um, with our nose, 
but you can still see the bottom and it doesn't blend away. So what you're going to do to make that blend away is take your black foundation or black face paint and just basically color in all on the tip, the or by your nostrils basically. So you're going to be coloring in all of this to make it kind of blend away a little bit. And it will truly just kind of blend away. It's going to recede and we're going to, in a minute, we're going to take some, uh, get up in your nostril too. I know this is kind of uncomfortable, but get up in your nostril. I hope there's no boogies up in there. And just blend this dark part away so that you are left with the shape you want. See, now we got this real pointy looking kind of nose, right? Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a black cake makeup. Again, still have not um, set anything. That's totally, I'm taking this big cake, the Star Blend Black. I'm going to use a really fluffy brush. And now we're going to go in and create some dimension and really create this, you know, the appearance of this real evil, witchy kind of creature. You can really define things better. And so I'm gonna go right along anywhere I want to kind of add a little more depth. And right along this edge, I'm gonna kind of create a little more depth here, right along the edge of this black. Just shading this in a little bit with a fluffy brush, okay? So you can already see what that's doing. It's creating more depth in that area. Just with a fluffy brush, just go in and shadow this in. And then really down this area here, really kind of blend it downward a little bit. Again, any area you want to kind of recede or fall back or look deeper, you're going to use this technique. Any area you want to pop, you're not going to do this at all. So against the nose, a little bit right here against the nostril, I'm going to do this. A little bit right there. That's going to make that kind of recede back and look like a real nose or nostril. <laughs> Along my hairline where I put all this black, I'm going to do that there as well. If there's any spots where you see skin tone coming through, don't worry, because you can always add like a line or a wrinkle or something there. You can go back in and touch up with a little bit of your green uh, face paint. Like so. Also, against the eye, I really want to make this kind of deepen up. I want to bring it out a little bit more. Deepen this up just a little bit and set it in a little bit too. Go over all the eye area, just setting that in and adding some uh, more color to it. Um, I wouldn't probably do any kind of shimmery tones. I try to stay as matte as possible here. It doesn't matter if it's a little kind of, you know, faded or blends down too far. I'm actually going to bring some of this down a little further because I want to kind of create this like kind of a witchy, you know, crazy liney looking look here. See what we're doing there? So let it just blend and just let it work with the natural shapes of your eye. Just kind of, you know, don't worry about it looking perfect. Because again, this is, a, this is a witch. This isn't a real creature. This is a, well, some would say it is, but it's not a real creature. It's a, it's a mythical you know, spectacular creature. So see what I'm doing? I'm just creating depth. Go right along the tip of your nose. Just set that in with this black. And then I want to take this also right along the edge of my nose to create some kind of dimension here. See what I'm doing? Right along the edge here of where the natural curve is of my nose. I'm creating depth in this area. It's going to create that real like witchy tipped nose that we're kind of going for. See? Looking good. Oh, I have to say something myself. So let's go back in with some of the black now. 
add a few more small fine lines and wrinkles. Just follow the natural you know, lines and wrinkles of your face and just make them a little finer, a little less pronounced than the ones I did before. And just do them anywhere you want to do them. I'm going to do a couple little like lines here. Just kind of like, you know, old age lines in this area. They do not have to be perfect or look in any way, you know, perfect at all. Just make them however you want to make them, okay? And then I'm going to go right back in and just define the mouth just a little bit more. Especially right in this corner. I want to make sure that really stands out. So I really want that, that kind of grinny laugh thing to happen here. That real evil grin. And then make some little, you know, lines here because that would be where her little laugh lines would be or her smile lines would be. It's all about creating depth and dimension. Okay. I'm digging this. All right, so that's the basic look. So all I've got to do now is throw on my crazy ass wig, which I'll throw on right now so you can see the finished product. I just got, here's a good tip for you. I just went and got a, a wig from a cheap Halloween store and I spray painted it um, black and then put some yellow or green in it. It's actually yellow, but it looks green. The other thing you can do, just so you know, down here, you know, really emphasize um, your different lines. Let me just fill this in a little bit. Emphasize the different lines of your body and stuff down here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're putting lines here along where the, you know, thinnest part you want to kind of emphasize, you know, emphasize different lines here and then right along like where your, you know, your collarbones are, things like that. Just kind of put little lines. You can always blend these out, but see how it just makes you look a little thinner, a little more creepy. And that, my friends, is a Halloween witch look. All right, so pics will be to come on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash face. This is my witch look for Halloween or goblin. You could do either one. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for subscribing to the YouTube page. I love you again from Greg Coleman of The Made Face to you. I wish you happy haunting for Halloween. Bye-bye.